when we're using those platforms, I mean, there's a there's a temptation just to sort of uh, not necessarily have, you know, you might have a time plan that I'm going to do it for an hour this day or an hour that day, but you may not actually have a targeted way of of doing that and making people recognize you in return. So what is the first step to creating an author brand? Because as we said, you know, you've created two quite separate brands. Um, I think it's really it's a very basic question you have to ask yourself, which is knowing what your purpose is. Um, I think people get online and start blogging and um, communicating via social media without actually knowing what it is they want to achieve with it. So that's the bottom line. What is your purpose? It may be to share your stories. It may be to sell your books. It may be um, just to find pe like-minded people. And I think once you identify exactly what it is, then you can start addressing the issues like, what social media should I use to reach those people? Um, you know, what's most time efficient? So everything comes back to that bottom line question. Hmm. And and when we're talking branding, you need to think of everything from you know colours and and how you do your particular photograph all the way through to you know the words that you use to describe yourself, don't you? Absolutely. Um, but I think before you even get to thinking about that level of detail, um, it's about what you want to communicate and how you want to conduct yourself. I, I always focus quite heavily on who you want to project that you are online because, um, you know, as you know, oversharing can be an issue. <laughs> and I think, you know, you right from the get-go, you have to say, this is the kind of person that I am and this is how I'm going to project myself. And then everything else. Once you've answered that question, then all, all those minor details then become a lot easier to kind of define and answer. Mm. How would you define your two brands that you have um, in describing them? Yeah, well, I mean, I feel that the Marianne de Pierre brand is better defined. It's been around longer. Uh, I think that um, it's but I and the Marianne uh, Delacorte brand is very much a fun brand. It's a very light um, humorous, uh, don't take yourself too seriously kind of persona. Marianne de Pierre, I think, I hope, um, projects as somebody who is a popular culture um, fan um, mm. and a person who, uh, and, a, and, a, and a writer, I guess, who likes to um, cross genres. So I'm sort of, I like to challenge things. So I see my, my online persona as as a, a writer who will give you the unexpected mm -hmm. and a popular culture fan. And they're the two things that I have, have tried to brand myself around. And so if you're looking for that kind of entertainment, that's that's where you'll, you'll find it with me. So, um, and I think you really have to stay true to your personality when you make those kind of decisions because, you know, blogging can take up a lot of time and, and putting yourself out there. It's, it's got to be somebody who you really are. It's got to be connected with the genuine you. Hmm. Thank you uh, so very much for joining us today, Marianne. Pleasure, Emily. Yeah.